Hi guys, welcome back. So today in this video, we are going to be doing a bisected skull. Bisecting means cutting into two equal halves. Um, skulls just happen to be symmetrical. So both sides are gonna be the same. Um, there may be some pathological reasons why it could be asymmetrical, but in general, most animal skulls are going to be symmetrical which lends perfectly to cutting them in half and displaying them. Looks really cool, looks really professional. It's really neat to see kind of the inside structure of the skull and this allows you to do that. So I'm gonna show you what tools you need. It's not that hard to do. Any of y'all can do it. First things first though, before you do do, do do, <laughs> just a reminder, if you ever are going to be cutting bone please do use a respirator. You do not want bone dust getting in your lungs. There will be two ways that you can cut the skull in half. First, if you have a scroll saw or you have a band saw, it's as simple as just following the sutures down to the middle of the skull and ripping it straight through. A scroll saw no worries we are going to use a cutting disc on a dremel and a skull since it is symmetrical it has sutures running down the center of the skull and you'll see that uh, with whatever skull you have and so you're just going to follow that line make sure you keep your cutting disc kind of parallel to the skull and just run it around the entire outside of the skull and just a note about the jaw bones, so these are called the mandibles, and they are symmetrical too, so there are generally two of them. Um, some animals, like a hog, it is connected, but in general, these will come apart in the center. Um, this particular skull is glued together. I got it from somebody, somebody, and they put like Gorilla Glue on it, which is a different story, don't do that. So you won't generally have to cut the mandible in half. It will already be in half. But if it is glued, like this case, you're gonna have to cut it in half. most likely get to the point where the cutting disc does not cut all the way through the skull and that's fine. Uh, just grab yourself a metal cutting saw and finish it off. Just be gentle with it but you can just finish off the little bits on the very center of the skull with this. got our skull in two equal halves and the next step is what is really going to put that professional edge on this bisected skull. If you have a belt sander, take the skull, rip it on there just a few times. You don't need much. And if you don't have a belt sander, grab yourself a piece of sandpaper. This is 220 grit and just run it across a few times and that will straighten up our edge. And there you have your perfectly bisected skull uh, thanks to this person for asking the question now if you wanted to cut a skull into kind of multiple uh, slices perfect little slices 
that is a bit of a different process. There's kind of a trick to that. I can make a video uh, to show you how to do that if you would like. Um, this particular bobcat skull is going to a park ranger. He's going to be using it uh, kind of for some educational events. And I'm going to mount it up on a nice little stand, wooden brass stand, and that'll look pretty cool. I will post pictures on my Instagram, so please do follow me over there. Uh, if you find this stuff interesting, please like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.